Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where we'll show you the complete workflow for designing concrete beams and concrete columns in RAM Structural System. We are now ready to design the concrete beams, and this process will include several steps. We will perform our initial design, we will review the model for any failing beams, and then we'll modify the reinforcement as required. Once the beam design is invoked, the beams will be color-coded depending upon the status of their design. A green beam means that the beam was designed and passed all design checks, while a red beam means that the beam was designed and some design warnings were reported. To design your reinforced concrete beam, we will go up to the process menu and click design all. After the design is complete, we can go ahead and click close, and we'll see that our beams are now color-coded, either red for failing or green for passing. If you would like to see this a little bit more clearly, you can turn off some of the items using your view toolbar. So here I can turn off my grids, or my walls, and maybe even some of my columns, and that'll give me a little bit of a clearer view. Now what I see so far is that for the majority of my concrete beams, they turned out green, meaning that they are passing. But I do have a couple of failing beams. Now to get some more information on each of these beams, I can use my view update command to review the optimized reinforcement. I can view my beam design results. I can modify my reinforcement or my material properties, and I can save my modifications to the database. I can also see what warnings or errors might have been produced when these beams were designed. To access your view update tool, I'm going to go ahead and click process followed by view update. And we're going to see that my cursor is going to change shape. At this point, I can select any of the beams in my model and we'll start with one of the failing reinforced concrete beams. Once I get to the View Update Story dialog box, I'll find a traffic light over at the right-hand side of this dialog box. A red traffic light indicates that some design warnings were present. And when design warnings are present, you'll have a design warning tab available. Here we're going to see a warning was produced that a torsional reinforcement is required. Your section torsion capacity is less than the applied torsion. Now RAM Concrete will provide the torsional capacity and will calculate the ultimate torsion that must be resisted by the concrete beam. To complete the design when you receive this type of warning, you will have to manually design your torsion reinforcement for the beam to ensure that the torsion design is acceptable. To review the ultimate torsion and your torsion capacity, I can view my report for this member. I can see all of my design checks, and on the last page I have my torsional capacity information. Now this produced a warning to let you know that RAM Structural System will provide this information, but since torsional reinforcement is required, that's an additional hand check that you're going to have to do on this particular beam. And actually the same warning is produced for all the other beams as well that were failing. Once you are done reviewing all the information on this particular beam, including you can review your longitudinal reinforcement, the transverse reinforcement, your section material properties, and your deflection information, you can go ahead and click Close. In addition to being able to review your failing members, you can also review your passing members and even modify your reinforcement using that same View Update tool. Here I'll select one of the passing beams at the second floor level. And here I can see all of the reinforcement that was optimized for this particular member. Now you may want to review your reinforcement and even customize it if you wish to make your detailing a little bit simpler. 
So for here, I'm going to take a look at my longitudinal reinforcement, and I can see I have a mixture of number seven bars and also number six bars. Perhaps I'd prefer picking just one bar size for the entire length of the beam. So I'm going to go ahead and select for the top reinforcement. I'm going to select number seven bars for everywhere. You're going to notice once I change my reinforcement, my traffic light over here turns yellow, indicating that some changes were made. And I'm also going to change the quantities. Maybe I want four number sevens along the entire length for your top reinforcement. Or actually what I can see from the elevation is it'll be located over your supports. I can also review my bottom reinforcement. And here I'd prefer to pick one bar size again. So I'm going to select number sevens. And again, I'll select four bars. So we have four bars for the entire length on the bottom. Now I still need to check to see if this is an acceptable solution. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Analyze button. And my traffic light turned green, meaning that this is an acceptable solution. And I can use this reinforcement instead. To then go the next level to assign this reinforcement to this particular member, I can click this Update Database button, and that will assign this reinforcement. So the next time I perform a Design All, what will happen is it'll go ahead and check the user assigned reinforcement for this particular member, and then give me more of a passing or failing option. This might also be a good way to check maybe an existing building that has some reinforcement already in it to see if it's passing or failing. We'll go ahead and click the Update Database button, and then we'll click Close. Now what we're going to notice is that entire member turned blue, indicating that it has passed all code checks, but now it has user-defined reinforcement assigned to it. Now if I like this reinforcement pattern, what's a good chance is the other member on the other side of the structure may have very similar design. So perhaps I want to assign this reinforcement to this particular member on the other side of the structure. I can use my copy design feature in order to be able to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select process followed by copy design. I'm going to copy my reinforcing, not my beam section sizes, and I'm going to perform my copy only if the beam lines are geometrically identical. So now there's only one other beam line that's geometrically identical to this, so it's going to automatically find that member on this side when I click the Single to All button. So I'm going to click Single to All. I'm going to select the beam line I want to copy. So I'm going to click on that one I just assigned sizes to. It'll search the model for anything that's geometrically identical to that member, and it's going to take what I assigned as reinforcement to this member and assign it over here. Now later on, when I create my construction documents, it'll be easier to schedule these beams if they have the same exact reinforcement assigned to them. Now, if I did assign some user assigned reinforcement and that reinforcement did not work out for that particular member, it would turn red, meaning that now a design warning was issued. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.